We have our bottle here from the yeast and peroxide, which actually contains oxygen gas, and our bottle here from the baking soda and vinegar, which actually contains carbon dioxide gas. But once again, it's not so important that the kids know what the gases are, but what they do. So you tell them, take a deep breath, and then oxygen is fueling a little fire inside of you, which is chemical reactions breaking down your food. Watch this. Get a burning splint, and with just a little ember in there, with pure oxygen, it'll burst back into flame. And in carbon dioxide, it'll put it right out. If I leave a little ember in there, this is oxygen from hydrogen peroxide and yeast. It will inspire combustion. It will cause that split to light on fire. Now it's burning white hot. I'll put it out. One, two, and it won't even be glowing anymore because the carbon dioxide gas put it out. No oxygen. So you can do a lot with baking soda and vinegar, peroxide and yeast. This is just a few. And when you experiment with the kids, you're going to invent stuff that I've never even thought of. Have a lot of fun, get out and get dirty, and invent stuff, daydream stuff, and create stuff with your kids doing simple science. Science in action is where it's at.